um, let's discuss some topic on the Bible. Well, um, oh, welcome everybody to the channel Bible Study. Um, well, uh, my uh, my name is Roy Ko Matthew, and uh, thank you for um, 100 plus vlog followers and uh, remember me also in your prayer. Um, I hope you are reading all the um, all scriptures from your personal Bible and you are checking is it correct or not so uh, I really appreciate that well now time to discuss worship that God approves well uh, uh, according to the Bible what kind of worship God can accept it so let's see that some uh, before that Let's see some introduction about that. First question, let's think about how will we benefit if we worship God in the right way. So what is the benefit we will get? Let's read Isaiah chapter 48, 17. It reads, this is what Jehovah says, your repurchaser, the holy one of Israel. I Jehovah, I am your God. The one teaching you to benefit yourself, the one guiding you in the way you should walk. Well, uh, there is a benefit if we follow the true religion, to practice or to commandments which we can read from the Bible. Uh, uh, so it's, it will lead for your uh, right you know, the current life happiness as well as everlasting life. So let's think about this question, how can we learn the right way to worship of Jehovah and what illustration help us to understand this? Well, uh, how we can learn the right way to Jehovah? Uh, so of course uh, we have to read the uh, Bible and come up with what is his expectation because the Bible is a guideline and uh, 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 so so many religions are on the globe so which one is right or uh, learning every religion what do you think is it practical is it feasible uh, no one lifetime is not enough right so uh, 20 or 30 plus or um, uh, thousands of uh, denominations are there even christianity itself and there are so many other religions as well so which one I had to follow, uh, of course, uh, as a Christians, we have do have the Bible. We have, should look at three subjects into the Bible. Is there any guidance in there in the Bible? Well, uh, so the uh, so to uh, learn or recognize a counterfeit or fake currency, right? So what we supposed to do? So we can learn the genuine one more thoroughly. Right. First, if we learn the genuine one no, currency very thoroughly, if you know how its uh, features, uh, then definitely if it is missing anything from that counterfeit, then we can understand, say that this is a counterfeit currency, it's not genuine one, right? Likewise, just uh, 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 if we are studying the Bible very closely, we can come up with eight points which conform a uh, true religion. Mm. So let's get into that points actually. So before that, uh, um, uh, according to the Jesus, what must we do if we want to uh, we want to have God's approval? So uh, Jesus Christ also ensured or encouraged everybody to follow the uh, not true religion or uh, uh, you know. Uh, do not be a lawlessness where we can read it Matthew chapter uh, 7 21 to 23 reads not everyone saying to me Lord Lord will enter into the kingdom of the heavens but only the one doing will of my father who is in the heavens will many will say to me in that day Lord Lord did we not prophesy in your name expel demons in your name and perform many powerful works in your name and then I will declare to them I never knew you get away from me you workers of lawlessness right so it means um, um, many are believing we did good deeds or we followed uh, 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 in the Bible or 
claimed that we are the true religious people or approved by God's people, then that is not the case actually. Uh, let's read Matthew chapter 7, 13 and 14. Go in through the narrow gate because broad is the gate and spacious is the road leading off into destruction and many are going to through it whereas narrow is the gate and crammed the road leading off into the life and few are finding it. It means if you see a lot of crowd many are following particular religion doesn't mean that that religion is approved by God or that practice is approved by God. So number of more number of people doesn't guarantee that it is acceptable by heavens. So many are thinking, yeah, okay, see the followers, see the cow crowd, there will be something or God's approval is there for them. So that does not the matter according to Jesus. Let's read chapter 2 Peter 3 9. Jehovah is not slow concerning his promise as some people consider slowness but he patient with you because he does not desire anyone to be destroyed but desire all to attain your repentance so then why God is not taking action do God is not correcting of course he is giving the time for his uh, uh, you know children to learn and uh, you know everybody deserves a second chance so uh, that's uh, really then we may worship God means either life or death, so it's very important. Um, so God has given very patience to everybody to find the right religion and follow the right path. So guys, now we're going to uh, see, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the features or the characteristics of the true religions or the practice according to the Bible. Well. Uh, uh, so Jesus has said one more uh, um, uh, way to recognize a tree or uh, you know plant by how to recognize by its fruit right so by the fruit you will recognize them Matthew chapter 7 16 and 17 reads by the fruit you will recognize them never do people gather graves from thorns or figs from the thirst do they Likewise, every good tree produces fine fruit, but every rotten tree produces worthless fruit. So what does it mean? So through religion, we can recognize the, 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 that religious members' behavior or their character, right? That is a, uh, one way. So let's in, keep that point in mind and let's dig in more the scriptures. God's servants base their teaching on the Bible. Well, this is the first point we have to consider uh, uh, in terms of true religion. Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says, um, God's servants always uh, will teach from the Bible, not their own ideas, interpretations and all. Um, so uh, uh, it will be based on the scriptures. So second theme is all scriptures inspired of God and go, uh, and beneficial of teachings and reproving for setting things straight or discipline in righteousness so that the man of God may be fully competent, completely equipped for every good work. So uh, true Christians believing every uh, uh, scriptures are inspired by God. So, uh, first as Thessalonica 2.13 uh, reads, uh, Indeed, uh, that is why we also thank God unceasingly, because when you received the God's word, which you heard from us, you accepted it is not a word from men, but just as it truthfully is, uh, the word of God, which is also at uh, work in you believers. Right, so interesting, right? So, um, um, uh, so uh, even Jesus Christ also practiced the same thing. When uh, even Jesus said, "Your word is truth," right? John chapter seventeen, seventeen reads, "Sanctify them by means of the truth. Your word is truth." So, 
most oftenly uh, jesus christ said um, it is written so it means he was uh, uh, um, referring from the bible he was quoted the scripture from the bible by doing the preaching but he answered it is written man must live not on bread alone but on every word that comes from jehovah's mouth and 10 reads um, then jesus said to him go away see it in for it is written it is jehovah your god you must worship it is to him alone you must render sacred service right so uh, here you can see it's written he saying it is written jesus said to him again it is written when you must not put jehovah your god to test so he was always quoting the scripture from the bible so this is one way to identify are they using the bible or not this is for every their teachings so uh, all the all religious teachings should be based on the bible that is one condition so let's see uh, see the second point those who practice the true religion worship only jehovah and make his name known oh is jesus did that yes matthew chapter 4 10 let's read that then the jesus said to him go away see it and it is written it is jehovah your god you must worship and it is to him alone you must render sacred service right so jesus did that and let's read some chapter 83 18 you uh, whose name is jehovah you alone are the most high right and uh, whose name is Je- you alone are the most high over all the earth so there is no compromise in terms of that position uh, what jehovah would don't want to share with anybody that well um jeho 7 uh, john 76 reads mm, i have made your name manifest to the men whom you gave me out of the world they were yours you gave them to me and they have observed your word right similarly to worship today teach uh, others about the god's name and his purpose and his qualities so if you want to uh, 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 identify your religious is really uh, accepted by god this is the second condition is it uh, worship only jehovah and make his name known yeah. are they doing that then of course your religious religion is accepted by uh, god jehovah according to the bible well let's uh, dig into the next point god's people show genuine and unselfish love for one another uh, so loving each other is one of the t- parameter or uh, fruit you can say the true christians supposed to display john chapter 13 35 by this all will you know that you are my disciple if you have love among yourself so uh, this is the condition you can read even jesus christ said for his disciple and co- well let's read colossians th- uh, chapter 3 14 reads but besides all these things clothe yourself with love for it is perfect bond of union so first um, john 3 uh, 10 to 12 reads the children of god and the children of the devil are evident by this fact whoever does not practice righteousness does not originate with god nor does the one who does not love his brother for this is the message that you have heard from the beginning that we should love one another not like king who originated with a wicked one and slaughtered his brother and for what reason did he slaughter him because he is who own works were wicked but those of his brother were righteous see we have to show the genuine love not like king king he he killed his own brother right so we should not kill by words or deeds to our brothers and sisters that is what scripture says for so uh, chapter 4 20 to 21 if any man says i love god yet is hating his brother he is a liar for the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love god whom he has not seen and we were we have this commandment from him that whoever loves god must also love his brother okay so uh, very interesting so hebrews chapter uh, you know 10 24 25 says that and let us consider one another so as to incite to the love and fine works 
not forsaking our meetings together as some have custom but encouraging one another all the more as so you as you see the day drawing near well fine works not by the words uh, through your fine works through your uh, real materialistic support you can also express your love to your brothers and sisters so galatians chapter 6 10 reads so then as long as we have the opportunity let us work what is good toward all but especially toward those who are related to us in faith so especially uh, we have to we should show the love to everybody uh, of course all our children of god but especially our uh, uh, you know church members or community members uh, uh, the bible is stressing you should love more if uh, okay Uh, next aspect uh, true christian accept that jesus christ as god's means of salvation so you uh, this is the se- another check you should do first check is of course what check over uh, are they worshiping second check is are they expressing uh, and the love the genuine love in interest uh, among one another third check of course are they accepting jesus christ as a savior acts chapter 4 uh, to read that there is uh, no salvation in uh, anyone and uh, for the bond uh, for the, and for there is no other name and heaven that has given among men by which we must save it and matthew chapter 2028 uh, also uh, says that just as the son of man came not to be ministered to but to minister to give his life for a, a ransom in exchange for many and john chapter 3 36 reads the one who exercises faith in the son has everlasting life the one who disobeys the son will not see life but the wrath of god remains upon him so see this is the belief of christian says you uh, and what does being uh, so this is a crucial check we have to do to uh, realize or recognize that religion is acceptable by god jehovah let's see the next point true worshipers are not part of the world jesus did the same thing jesus said 1836 jesus answered my kingdom is no part of this world if my kingdom were part of this world my attendance would have for that i should not be handed over to the jews but as it is my kingdom is not from the source so jesus was was not uh, interested against the rome or any of the government and uh, you know uh, so 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 roman chapter 13 one says that you know let every person be subjected to the superior authorities not uh, there is no authority except by god the existing authority stand placed in their relative position of god so even the bible encouraging us to show the subjection to our governments and authorities uh, because god allows them to be in that position but uh, at the same time we are considered as the citizens of uh, uh, god's kingdom and we should love everybody around the globe in answer peter let's read acts, acts chapter 529 in answer peter and other apostles said we must obey god as ruler rather than men so in, uh, mark chapter 12 17 says um, jesus then said tip back caesar's things to caesar but god thinks to god and they were amazed at him so it means we supposed to do whatever the obligation to the government or the authorities at this, but at the same time we always should show the subjection to the god's kingdom we, we should keep in our mind we are the citizens of god's kingdom well interesting right so let's think about uh, another point jesus true followers preach the god's kingdom in man's kind's only hope Matthew chapter 24 14 this is another check you should do see are the all the community members doing this job or not this guidance or not so Matthew chapter 24 14 as this good news of the kingdom will be preached in all inhabited earth for a witness of to all nations and that the end will come right so uh, let's read Psalm chapter 146 3 Do not put your trust in princes nor in son of man who cannot bring salvation. And Matthew chapter 6:10 reads let your kingdom come let your will take place in as in heaven or also in earth. On earth. 
Well, Daniel chapter 244 reads, In the days of the king, kings of God, of oh, oh, heaven will set up kingdom that will never be destroyed and this kingdom will not be passed on to any other people. It will crush and push an end to all these kingdoms and it will, it will alone will stand forever. Right? And uh, Revelation chapter 16, 14 reads, they are in fact expression inspired by demons and they perform the signs and they go out to the kings of end inhabited earth and to gather them together to the war of the great day of the uh, almighty mm, uh, Dan, uh, uh, let's read revelation chapter 19 19 to 21 and i saw the wild beasts and the kings of the uh, uh, earth their armies gathered together to wage war against the one seated on the horse against his army and the wild beast was caught and along with it the false prophet that performed in front of it besides with which he misled of those who receive the mark of the wild beast and those who worship its image while still alive the both were hurled into the fiery lake that burns with sulfur but the rest were killed off with a long sword that proceeded out of the mouth of the one seated on the horse and all the birds were filled with their flesh Okay, so all these conditions, what do you feel? So, of course, uh, uh, Jehovah's importance, Jesus Christ's importance, uh, importance of expressing love and uh, be neutral in the world politics or war affairs and all, love each other, uh, right? Uh, and always be subject to the gospel and ensure, uh, subject to the sovereignty of Almighty and respect to the authorities. All these are you know, our conditions uh, to check or realize a true religion, friends. So, uh, now uh, in your mind, uh, uh, see, could you please suggest uh, one um, true religion? Definitely, it's your uh, uh, check your religion and check uh, uh, all earth. You definitely will find your true religion. So, I say uh, uh, chapter 43, 10 to 12 reads, You are my witnesses, declares Jehovah, yes, my servant who I have chosen, so that you may know I have faith in me and understand that I am the same name, one. Before me, no God was formed, after me, there has been none. I, I am Jehovah, and besides me, there is no Savior. I am the one who declared and saved the maid known. And when there was no foreign God among you, so you are my witnesses, declares Jehovah, I am God. Okay. Well, interesting, right? So, and um, comment your religion and uh, check uh, your denominations is in line with the Bible's expectation or not. And we will see more details in our uh, next episode about the true, you know, uh, true worship. Um, uh, uh, so, Thank you so much for your valuable time and uh, please uh, read as I said earlier, please read all the scriptures from your Bible and check whatever I am said is correct or not and share your comments uh, and share with your friends who are interested to learn Bible. Thank you so much for your valuable time friends. Thank you uh, and um, subscribe so that you will get new videos and notifications. Thank you so much.